Hi there, welcome to Jujube DIY. Today I've got three amazing crafts you're not gonna wanna miss today. So go get those crafty party pants on and let's get started. So to get started on this first DIY, we're gonna take three of these hexagon frames and we're gonna take everything out of them, including the glass. Next, we're gonna take some of these 12 inch dowels and I'm just going to adhere them to the corners of this hexagon frame. And I'm just using a mix of the super glue fix all from the Dollar Tree and hot glue. And then I'm just sticking um, those Dollar Tree um, clampy things uh, there to keep it in place until it is completely dry. After they're dry, I'll flip it over and then I will adhere another frame to the bottom parts of the dowels. So when I flip it over, it's the frame is gonna look like this because you want the top sides to all be the same direction. So you want it to be finished on the top. Next, I'm taking one of these wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. I just took off the chain from the sides and then I'm gonna take some wire nippers and I'm going to cut at about an inch up from the ring all the way around. I'll kind of bend those a little bit with my fingers, or my hands, <laughs> fingers. But I'll just really kind of just slip that right over the top of the basket. And then I'll adhere the spokes to the frame with a little bit of hot glue. And I'll ex you know, use some extra hot glue on the bottom just to make sure it's nice and secure. Next, I'm gonna take these round wood pieces from Walmart, and I'm gonna use one of them. It worked out perfectly for the top of this. I was very excited. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of flip it over so they can see, you can see better where your center is. And I will just add some hot glue onto those spokes to hot glue this down to that wood disc. Now I am a eyeball crafter for the most part, so you'll see me just kind of eyeballing this stuff uh, for this project. But if you recreate this and you want it to be more precise, then uh, you know, make sure you get out your ruler and, and measure it and make sure it's completely center. So I'll just secure the, those spokes with a little uh, more hot glue. This is a spool that I bought from Michaels. It was on clearance for 49 cents. This is a bead. I believe it is a 20 millimeter bead, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I've got one of these book binding rings from the Dollar Tree. They're just the ones that kind of clip together. And I'm just gonna clip that into that wood bead. And then I'm gonna adhere the wood bead to the spool with some of the super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna adhere this little finial that we've made to the top of our wood round. And I'll just use that wood glue as well. And here you can see that I have attached a bottom and a top to these wood dowels and see how their frames are going the same direction so that the finished side is facing up. I'm taking some of these wood dowels that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just cut them down to about four inches and then I'm just fixing them in between those long, tall wood dowels. Some of them I needed to cut. It wasn't, you know, things from Dollar Tree are not exactly measured correctly. So I did have to cut a few of these dowels down because it wasn't a perfect four inches, but I just used my box knife to kind of, uh, you know, cut them down a little bit further. So I'm showing you here that I placed uh, two of those dowels in each of the sections, but I did them in different heights. So for three of them, I kind of did one about, you know, about an inch and a half from the top and the bottom. And then the other three sides, I did kind of in between those other two. And here I'm showing you how I adhered these bamboo skewers to those wood dowels. I just used the regular bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree. I cut off the pointy ends 
I don't think you would have to do that, but I wanted to make sure there weren't any pointy ends for when I was decorating my birdcage. And I apologize for this part of it. Somehow the footage was lost. So I'm just kind of showing you how I did what I did. So I just hot glued five of these skewers to each of those sections and I just used wood glue, and I'll show you here how I did that. I just did a dollop of, not wood glue, of hot glue. So I did a dollop of hot glue on each of the dowels, and then I just placed the bamboo skewers. Bamboo skewers. Why can't I say that today? So I just pressed it down, and I didn't, again, I just eyeballed this, so they're not exactly the same on each one but I think they're pretty close. And then I just took this all out. Once I got it all together, I took it outside and I spray painted it with the gold paint. So we're gonna take one of the bases of our frames. This is like the backing. And we're gonna take off the stand and the hanger. And then I'm just gonna trace this out on a piece of nice black cardstock. This is just a, I think it's 65 pound cardstock from Michaels. And I'll just trace that with a pencil, cut it out. And I thought that this would give a more finished look to the base of my bird cage um, because that the backing wasn't like a super black and I didn't really care for it. And it did get a little damaged. So I'm just gonna use my glue stick to kind of put the part where the stand was back down. And then I'm going to put a nice thick layer of this glue stick all over the back of the frame backing. And then I'll just add my paper here. And I have this little Mod Podge tool that I really burnish that paper down with. It's like a little Mod Podge scraper, it's pretty awesome. So then you'll see here that this is the back underside, bottom side <laughs> of our bird cage. And I'm just going to add hot glue to the dowels and then I'll place this backing on to the bottom here. And I have no idea why I had that paused uh, before. So that was weird. <laughs> but yeah, so you can see what I'm doing here. Just hot gluing that base down. And see how pretty that is. I love that. I think it's so nice. So I had taken a wood dowel, cut it down to about uh, four inches there, and then taking the uh, wire basket hanger, I cut off um, 11 of the links, and then I'm just opening up that top link. And because there's a space in between the wood round and the top of the basket, there's a place that you can easily put those, um, chains through so it worked out perfect and I hot glued each of those chains about an inch in on those on that dowel and there's the top of our little birdcage what do you think of this I I'm in love with it I think this turned out so good it might be one of my favorite pieces and the top just kind of sets on there I wasn't too worried about securing the top because I don't have little kids that will get into this or knock it over or anything. So I just wanted to be able to change whatever was inside for the season. So I didn't secure the top, but if you're worried about that, you could definitely secure the top. But I love the little bird, little bird hanger, like whatever that's called. <laughs> but I think it's cute and it's so substantial. It's like one and a half feet tall. So what do you think of that first DIY? I've had it in my head for a while and I'm so excited to see it actually come to fruition. I am so pleased with how it turned out and I'm so excited to have that piece in my home. It's definitely a decor piece I will be keeping. Moving on to our second DIY, we're going to take one of these USA tag signs and I'm just going to remove the metal embellishments along with the hanger. After I get that done, I'm going to paint the back side of that with two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And then I'm going to use this chippy brush. This is just one I put, 
picked up from Walmart and the color Mineral from Waverly. And I'm just gonna dry brush this color right onto my sign. I really love the way that this mineral color distresses the plaster. It's so pretty together. Next, I'm gonna take some of this eucalyptus and lamb's ear from Walmart, and I'm just gonna arrange them around this top corner here. And I just place them out before I hot glue them so that I can get an idea of where I want each of the leaves to go. And then I'll just hot glue that all on. So I was so excited when Solo Wood Flowers contacted me to partner with them. So they sent me some beautiful flowers and they are gorgeous. They are wood, they are flexible and pliable. They're eco-friendly, they're dyeable, and they're just, they look so real and gorgeous and they feel real too. This was how they came in the package, just kind of a light color. And then I used some of the dyes that they'd sent and I just dyed them myself, but you can also buy them pre-dyed and they always have wonderful sales. So I suggest you go check out their site. Um, and if you want to, I will have an affiliate link in the description box down below. And if you want to purchase my affiliate link, I would absolutely love that. So. Moving on, I'm just taking some of these flowers and I'm gonna arrange them on top of the leaves. So I'm just kind of picking out the ones I wanted. And these colors are gorgeous. The pigment is so good, but I've heard that you can also paint the solo wood flowers with just regular acrylic paint as well. So you wouldn't have to buy their dye, but I really love the way that their dye worked, so. Uh, after I got it all the flowers attached then I'm taking some of this eucalyptus it's just so beautiful it's like a white and pink color I got it from Michaels and I'm just kind of placing that in there and then I'll hot glue those in so I was feeling that this wasn't quite done yet and I kind of was racking my brain as to what I wanted to add and I decided to add this burlap to kind of the bottom portion of this sign. And you'll see that the back is not complete. It's not finished, but I will finish this off with some paper. I don't always finish the backs off, but because of this will be hanging on my door and I have a glass door, it'll be seen. So um, if, if you can see the back of it, unless I'm selling it, I don't always finish it, but I did did finish this one, I just didn't show you. And I just used that craft paper from the Dollar Tree to finish off the back. I'm taking this welcome galvanized sign that I pulled off of a, another piece from the Dollar Tree and I just gave it one coat of the plaster paint and then I'm gonna put that onto the burlap with the fix-all. Next, I'm gonna take this wire jute twine and I'm gonna create a hanger for it. And I'll just hot glue that to the back. And one of my favorite tips from Holly at Hot Humble Pie is to add some masking tape over the top of your hot glue and it works like a charm. It really is, secures that hanger. So what do you think of this piece? I think this is beautiful. I love it and I am going to be so happy to have this as kind of a transition piece from fall or no <laughs> from summer to fall I think this will be beautiful if you're new here I'm Sarah and I invite you to hit that red subscribe button down below if you like what you've seen so far today if you do go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new content I enjoy doing farmhouse and country cottage home decor DIYs. <laughs> so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'd love to have you join my little group here on YouTube. Let's get into the next DIY. Who we are chucking right along here. So I've got this little, it's like a spring foam form pan that I've had forever. I don't even know where it came from, but I have never once used it. So I figured now is the time to use it. 
and I'm going to use it as decoration. So I'm taking the elephant chalk paint and I'm just gonna dab that all over the um, pan as a base and then I'm gonna add some black and white and I'll just keep going back and forth dabbing those colors, just kind of mixing them together uh, to make that faux galvanized look. So I just keep going back and forth and I'm using a makeup sponge here, but I discover that um, this is bubble wrap. It works awesome to create a galvanized look. And right here, I'm just using some brushed silver metallic paint from folk art uh, over the top of the grays and blacks and white to add that kind of metallic look. And I swear I will always from now on use bubble wrap because it worked so good. I love how it turned out. Here I'm just using a makeup sponge and some nutmeg brown from Apple Barrel to rim the edge and make it look even more old and rustic. So here I've got one of the candlesticks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just kind of adding some black paint to distress it. And if you can see over there on, I think it's, you know, the left hand side, you'll see that I just had a metal lid um, that I galvanized as well. It was just, you could use wood or metal or whatever you want, but I just needed something for a base to go on top of my candlestick. So I also used some of the mineral chalk paint and a chippy brush to distress this further. And then I'm gonna go back in and add a little more black just to kind of make it look even more rustic. So I, because the candlestick dips down, obviously because it's for a candle, I needed to make that more level. So I'm just using some of these pineapple stickers from the wood sticker pack that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna hot glue those onto the top of this. And then I'll just hot glue my metal piece right on top of those wood pieces. So if you want this to be more like fixed, you'll definitely wanna use like E6000 or Fix All or something to adhere that metal to those wood pieces because the metal won't stick to the hot glue very well. But for video purposes, I'm using hot glue. I did, however, use the fix all and hot glue to add the pineapples to the bottom of my pan because I did not want the pan to separate from the base. Look how good that galvanized looks. Next, I'm gonna take this little frame that I've had in my stash. I used it at Easter time, and I'm just gonna hot glue some of these little tiny solo wood flowers into this box. And I created a little stand using one of the little wood candle holders and a wood disc. And I just hot glued that to the base of that frame. And then I'm just gonna shove that candlestick into a piece of floral foam. And then I hot glue the floral, floral foam into the pan, and then I'm just adding some greenery around the edges. So I wanna thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me in my adventure. Thank you to my old subscribers. You guys all mean the world to me. I appreciate your support more than you could ever possibly know. It means the world to me. And I'm so glad that I can share my crafting with you. So here is a look at our final project. I, I love this. Again, I, I'm, I think today's projects might be some of my very favorites that I've ever created. So let me know what you think. Uh, I think that this galvanized look turned out perfect. I love the base. I love the frame. I just love everything about it. And I'm excited because I think it'll be easy to change out for the season. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate your patronage and I hope you have a happy, healthy, and blessed day. Oh, itchy ears. Where am I looking at? Where am I looking? Here's still wet. 
well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Hey, right, today I've got three awesome crafts for you. Crafts? Okay. I don't want to say awesome. I said awesome last time. I'm going to change it up and keep it fresh, right? I'm going to keep it fresh. <laughs> DIY. Today I'm going lighting is not bad I can dig this lighting can you when I miss hi I'm Sarah Sarah well, I'm Sarah I'm Sarah I'm Sarah that's who I am <laughs> I promise my name is Sarah <laughs> if you're new to my channel I'm Sarah Baby hairs right here. They're driving me crazy. What? Go away. I mean, don't go away, but grow. Grow! I think I need to part in a different spot right there. Oh, this is taking me back to the 90s. <laughs> Except it would have been a lot higher, right? Like up here higher. I probably have pictures somewhere of my bangs like that. That is not so cute anymore. But it doesn't want to stay like that, so I guess we're gonna go back this direction. Okay. Oh, I think that's it. Uh, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. If you liked today's video and you're still here, here's a couple more suggestions for videos you might like. Thanks again for stopping by and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.